hey guys so i'm back um i wanted to do a a 2019 purse collection this is gonna be a long one okay i'm just gonna let you know it's gonna be a long one so let's get into it i have to get back get back so this is my 2019 purse collection this is gonna be a long one just gonna let you know now so let's get into it i'm gonna start with my crossbody bags and my wristlets so my wristlets this one right here i haven't worn yet i got this from macy's this was 148 um it has this thing in the back of them back of it and a zippy in the front part of it right here and the opening right there this is from michael kors um i bought this like a little bit after my birthday a while back because i had like a small i don't know where to put it though it's a small wristlet and i realized when i was out i kept dropping all of my content things all the things that i had i um ended up dropping all of my lipstick even money out of it and it was just too small so i just told myself i'm just gonna get a bigger one and it just like that you know and i can take it off too i can just a clutch but me i when i get drunk yes i get drunk on my birthday um i would rather it just be in on my wrist like this because i will lose it okay i will lose it so another one because i bought that one that i ended up getting this one from coach um i got this from the coach outlet i think this was like 60 or so dollars and it's just that right here um really simple i i think i used this because i got stuff all in it which of course is the small one inward hmm, it's a photographer um oh shit okay so yeah it's kind of like it's a wristlet but it also has like little like for your um slots for your cards so i just wanted it to be black i think i had an issue with this one and this little thing right here because I didn't, I want to be able to go with pretty much anything. Again, wristlet, this one doesn't come off. It is what it is, but you can just hold it like that if you want. Another wristlet I got, but also a wallet. This is my Michael Kors um, wallet wristlet. It's supposed to be able to fit your phone in the center. Yeah, it my phone ain't going to fit in there. But it's supposed to fit your phone in the center. And I have um, the iPhone X, the first iPhone X. And then it has like little um, car slots right here and a panel in the back of it. And then you just zip it like that and put it on. Again, you could disconnect this part if you want. So if I want to go out and I want it to wear like a little yellow on me. Oh, this will go cute with my outfit today. Anywho. So that is my wristlets. Okay. So my crossbody bags. I have this one right here from um, Coach, and I think most of my wristlets or in my uh, crossbody bags I've got from the Coach outlet. It comes with this awesome chain because I can use this as a wristlet if I want. Um and they both come off and in, including this you know the strap and i just use this you know the crossbody i took this to um to vegas with me but it was it was a tight fit for so much stuff that i put into it but i made it work it's black and gold this one right here is my baby I got this one from the coach outlet as well. I wore this to Vegas as well. Um, I don't know, it smells good in here, but it's just no pockets, nothing in it. It's just like a hole. But um, cross bodied, and you can all also carry it on the top like that. Really love purple. So the hardware on this is silver. Yeah. 
so I got this one it, it's the same model as this the purple one but it's yellow which I I'm still loving the fact it just it goes with what I got on um it was originally 250 but I got this from the coach outlet I think I only paid maybe 50 or 30 dollars for it hmm I think it was 50 maybe um but I still have the, the tag is still on it so it was originally 250 but I, I know I didn't pay 250 I got it from the coach outlet online and with the strap and again you can you know hold it on the top Ooh. I bought this two years ago maybe three I think it's been three years I got this right here this is Michael Kors this is all pink light light pink with gold hardware it comes with the top little handle I really wish the top handle was like like it folded down then you can pick it up but this is their version of the YSL um, sac du jour bag in the mini Yes, Michael Kors do make dupes of very expensive um, bags. See, like that. Um, it has a pocket in the back right here and in the front. And then there's a zip part right there in the center. Um, since it being so small, um, it has like some card holders, um, slots, right right back here and then you also can use this part in the center so it does give you a lot of compartments I also because I'm a freak like that um, I got the wallet and the wallet to go with it and it's also a wristlet and it looks just like that Put your bill, your cards here, your ID here, and I guess just like you can put your phone in there, but I don't think my phone fits. Oh shit, my phone do fit. Oh, so like that, and then you know, you know, put what you're gonna put for the night. You want to wear you some little cute little pink, you know. I am digging this. This goes with my outfit too. So, I got this from, I think it was Nordstrom's? Yeah, I think I got this from Nordstrom's. And the wallet is a tad bit too damn big, but it's okay. I can get it in there. So, like that. I don't plan on wearing a whole lot of stuff if I'm wearing this bag. But, again, it is crossbody. Um... I think I paid full price for this, so it was like two ninety something. So yeah, I absolutely love. It. I just I cannot justify buying crossbody bags for like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. I can't do it because I don't I don't wear those type of bags all the time. These bags I really gravitate to when I'm going somewhere, and I just do not want to um, wear like a really big big you know shoulder bag or whatever I want to cross bite it I want to dance I want to have fun you know I just want to throw my money throw my card into my purse and zip it and be done with it and I feel like I never pull it towards the back either it's always in the front of me so I can see it I'm very paranoid so yeah and my last two um I got this one I think this was I think this was full price I'm not sure but I think I got this from Michael Kors um, dot com so um, it's an all white Michael Kors purse I always wanted a white bag I actually used it because I got receipts and stuff in it I don't know when I used it usually um, yeah I did use it I got hand sanitizer and everything in it I'm leaving it in there um, just a it has a little slots on the side of it and this in the back and that's it and it's white and silver um i think i no i think i got this on no i'm not, i can't really remember if i got this on sale or not but it, it was probably one something for this bag and i'm okay with getting michael kors or coach 
I absolutely love handbags. I don't care where they come from. They can be $30. If I love the purse, I will get the purse. Um, everything doesn't have to be um, major, major designer brand. But I do like some designer brand things, as you can see if you're on my channel. <laughs> okay. So, I really enjoy um, handbags. Just, I love handbags. Always did when I was a kid. I recently told my mom this story, and it just it, like I just sold myself out. But when I was really young, I think I was in elementary school. I stole a handbag from um, Kmart. And if you here in Michigan, you know where Kmart is. I don't know if Kmart is, in, you know everywhere else and stuff but I did still bag out of there um because she refused to get it for me and you know I'm luckily I didn't go to jail or anything but I just love handbags even when I was younger I just absolutely love handbags I used to take my mom's handbags um she was very into coach um me into the designer brands that I am now she really is just like no I don't think so but I just love handbags I love the color different colors and stuff but um crossbody bags I'm not gonna spend that type of money on a crossbody bag I know because I, I only wear these when I'm like like special occasions of going out and I don't want to bring a, a shoulder purse and the last one is this coach bag right here I had this bag forever um I want to say this was my mom's old coach bag but I think I got this from a thrift store years and centuries ago this is all leather this is coach at its finest doing what coach used I mean well I think coach is getting back to coach you know um but yeah it's just like this little handle little pocket back here open space here a little little space right here and because I do have like marks and stuff on it I would love to take it somewhere to get it uh, a little little freshened up but I love this bag like I still love it and sometimes I do when I'm going somewhere and I just I love the brown of this bag I just grab this bag and go or my um whatever wallet i had in my bigger purse in here or a card holder brush some lotion hand sanitizer and i'm out so yeah so that was the crossbody bag. i had to get some of the bags down um so let's start with this one i got this eons ago um i thought something was in it oh i got a lighter in here look at that um so this is another coach bag this is when coach was doing canvas this is the only canvas bag i have that coach um have did i got this from the coach outlet yeah i did because my mom has um one two but hers is um hers was white and black yeah hers was white and black i bet you she can't tell you what she did with it but um this one i usually um, take this bag with me when I'm going to um, go to the hairdresser uh, my mom always I'm very paranoid and my mother has made me paranoid about um, wearing like designer bags to the hairdresser and stuff because um, she remembered like people used to uh, rob hairdressers and stuff like that and I usually use this bag and if I have like the money on me and usually in my boob that's why I went for it my boob or my um, card holder and stuff and just this back so this is normally what I use it oh shit hit me in the face because I love purple but it's I'm still looking for my purple per perfect shade of purple handbag um, just like this one but I, I I still love it I still think it's pretty cuz I don't miss I don't see this bag a lot no more so I have that going through dust bags and I love this bag <laughs> I got this bag um, from Macy's this is all suede with um, silver hardware and it has fringe all over it and it's also it can be a shoulder bag it can be a crossbody bag I love this bag from Michael Kors because you can't really tell that it's a Michael Kors bag at all because um, everything is just fringe even the grommets or whatever this is right here the studs in the front 
doesn't say Michael Kors nothing but this little this little piece right here that you pull out that says MK on it but that's it and I'm okay with that I looked at this purse for like at least three months before I just said screw it and went ahead and got it I think I got this on the I think this was on sale because it was 320 something I think so I would I just I think it was on sale for like two something or one something so I just went ahead and got it I probably only paid like two hundred dollars for it okay I'm just grabbing everything that I have in front of me Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. this bag was a a Christmas gift from my mother I saw this I think this was on the clearance and she bought it for me um, it's one of their hobo bags it is very soft leather very soft because I got little cuts in it and stuff but it's so green I love color with I like my bags to be color color colorful and it's so pretty and the hardware is like silver like a dark silver very very dark you can get this little tag right here and again it comes with this too I can crossbody it and I can also put it on the shoulder and have this part to put on the shoulder like that oh love this bag love 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 so pretty this green is so 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 pretty I love it so I got that from Macy's if I didn't say because some things that come from the coach I let they don't give you a dust bag for okay um this bag right here is Rebecca Minkoff I got this um from Nordstrom's a while ago it is this black um bag it came with tassels i think it goes this way it came with tassels but my little cousin at the time i think he was three or two years old he was chewing on them <sighs> kids man oh wow i got a lot of stuff in here i got toilet paper in here this is crazy this is crazy and a sock wow um, maybe something told me i really needed to go through this i have a spoon in here y'all what the hell what was i doing and some hand sanitizer okay okay i don't know what i was going through but okay i was prepared for everything but it's all leather top handle again it comes with the red the this part right here so I can cross body it and put it on the shoulder um, I really don't know how much I paid for it I think this was on sale so yeah I love a hobo bag this is funny I thought there's too much weird stuff in my bags okay yeah I'm gonna do this one so this one is from Kate Spade. It, it's, a, it's a little saying on it. She said um, she she tucked her coral lipstick away and floated back to the party. Okay. So I got this bag. Um, I can't even think how long ago, but um, I think. I think this was like a hundred and something because I got it on sale I got it because I love the color it reminds me like corn flower corn color or something like it's blue but with a little bit of white to it so it's like not extremely blue I wanted to wear this in the summer and I really haven't gave myself a chance to wear it and uh, it still got the receipt and everything 
still in it. So it was it was originally $3.98 and I know I didn't pay that. I think it was like one something. I got it from Nordstrom's. And it comes with um, the strap. And I will be wearing this this um, summer at some point. You know, when I do what's in my bag, changing my bag, at some point I will be wearing this bag because I am really looking forward to wearing it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got one more down here. Ooh. Another coach. And this one, the black bag I have on now, um, is like this, but it's, um, this one is smaller. I wore this, another what's in my bag, changing my bag. And I, I think I wore this last summer. I love this bag. It's so beautiful. Coach did such a great, great job with this purse. All the piping on it is different colors. It's yellow, it's a, a pink, it's a red. Um, it's suede on the sides and the rest is this beautiful um, soft leather and then in pebble leather right up under here. You turn it and you have this huge pocket you got the zip in the back you got this in the front then you have this part right here close it and then you have like this little area in the back i love this bag it's so pretty um i feel like like an oatmeal color or something but i loved it for the summer this is so beautiful i love this bag so much so okay getting into some more got the rest of them okay so this one right here i got this one when i got my pink purple one purple crossbody bag that i just showed you um from the coach outlet again it didn't come with an uh, actual dust bag so this is it i did wear this recently um i think it was last year when i did what's in my bag changing my bag this is i actually really enjoyed this bag really a lot it's like a big big hole and it's just massive and it has like um handles on the sides you know for your phone or any other thing in the zip in the back and you can hold it top or crossbody it love this bag actually i would get this bag wear this bag to travel with because it was just it was a dream it was a dream i really enjoyed this bag I'm trying to so this is another bag i got it's just like the 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 green one I haven't worn this yet. This was originally $4.25. I got this from the Coach Outlet. Uh, I think it was Coach Outlet Online. I had another bag that, that looked like this, but it was like a light, uh, it was kind of like this type of um, purple, but I gave it to my mom as a Christmas gift. And I had another black um, Coach bag that I gave to my best friend uh, for her birthday. So is this right here this is a hobo um bag it has a zip in the back this is more of a pebbled leather and again same setup zippy in the back and these you know sides to um you know your phone and whatever else you want to put in it i haven't wore this yet it's sad to say i haven't worn this yet but um I will be. I will be. Because you keep watching what's in my bag, changing my bag. I will be wearing it. And I have this book bag here from Coach. I got this from the Coach Outlet in Florida. Um, for a while, I wore this to work as my work bag. And now I have like a massive, massive bag from my work bag because I tend to carry a lot of stuff. So I cleaned this out. It looks kind of grungy in here but um yeah I got some perfume in here and some other other stuff but I use this as my work purse actually for now on I will be using this when I travel on a plane this is perfect to do so and you know look back um my last little one is this right here I got this off Amazon and it came with this twilly in it 
And I think I paid like $30 or so for this. I'm not really sure. But I know this this was like the up in this was like the thing for the summer last year. And I do plan on wearing this next year. Well this this summer. Yeah. Cause it's such such a cute little little um bag. And it opens just like that. And you can put stuff at the bottom. I felt like it didn't make no sense to paying like close to a hundred and something dollars for like a wicker thing. So I just got it off Amazon. So now we're gonna get into my my expensive, more expensive bags. So I gotta show you this. Um, this is from Michael Kors, and this was for price. I got this about six or seven years ago. My mom bought me this. This is the Michael Kors bag. They do not sell this bag anymore. Um, I got a little, little, little bits and pieces on here. It goes with my wristlet. That wallet, I usually wear the wallet when I wear this bag and I always get complimented on when I have this bag on. And I usually wear this bag in the summer. This bag is so yellow and so beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, and it's, I don't think I wore it last year, but I try to wear it like periodically throughout the summer. Oh, it's on my ear. Okay, so this one, you do not, do not tell on me, okay? Do not tell on me. Okay. I took my mom's bag. She will not let me have this, but I love it so much, but she will not let me have it. But I, I took it, I took it, I tell you, I took it. This is... The Michael Kors, it's just like that bag, but the leather is different. This leather is really soft. It's, I think it's pebble, but it's still still a different leather than the other one. It's much heavier, too. And you see like a little crease in there. Because she didn't love it like I would love you. I'm going to actually put some stuffing in it to get it back. But yeah, and she got her wristlet or wallet to go with it as well. I need to wear this bag at least once. I'm gonna surprise her and just wear it. Especially in the summer. Oh, this will be so pretty. She's just, my mom is just really scared of color and I'm so surprised she actually got this bag. But um, I'm wearing it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna wear it. So. Oh. That was those bags. So we're gonna now get into my expensive bags. My my crazy craziness. So my most expensive bags. This is the Chloe Fay bag. Um, I wore this one to Paris. It's a I don't know, it's blue, but it's a lighter type of blue. And it's with gold hardware. You lift this up, and the inside is like that. And it's suede, or I don't know what type of material it is. I think it's suede in the inner part of it. And it has a zippy part, and it's like two different parts, and then the zippy part. And this bag is gorgeous I got this maybe three years ago and this is when I discovered um, Ebates I bought this back I think it was two thousand something dollars and I, when I bought this bag I bought it through Ebates through I think it was Neiman's I think I bought it through Neiman's and I think it was like I got like maybe 200 or 300 dollars back no no i didn't it was 10 percent cash back so i think i got 600 dollars or 500 dollars back from this um, purchase of this purse and then um no i 
yeah i got like yeah it was like 500 dollars. i got cash back from um ebates and then i got a gift card um from neiman's because they were running the sale at the time so i got a gift card e-gift card for 650 dollars, and that's when i bought my christian louboutins um i think i bought them for I bought them and got them with the gift card. I think I only paid like a little bit of tax on it. But when I got these shoes, I, it was too tall for me. And I sold them. I think I sold them for 300 and something dollars off um, what is that? eBay. I sold them off eBay. Um, and then I rebought the other shoes that I have, my other Christmas Louboutins, and I think I only paid, because I used that money with that, so I only paid like $200 to get the other pair. So yeah, <laughs> I did that. Oh my goodness, Ebates, Ebates, Ebates. And this is my Chloe Faye bag. Um, this is in front of me. I have my Louis Vuitton, speedy and the 35 i got this ooh, maybe eight or maybe nine years ago um this is the last one that i purchased so yeah and i just used this recently and what's in my bag changing my bag um again if you speedy this is an older one because it didn't come with the zipper right here it's just a little thing in there and it's just a big hole um but absolutely love this bag it is this bag is and will always be a classic oh. oh when i bought this one i think i paid 8.48 for it that's how long it was i'm so sorry guys because this bag is a, is at least a thousand four hundred no a thousand a thousand dollars and forty dollars for the uh, I think for this bag now I think I'm not really sure um then I have this Louis Vuitton bag I got um for my birthday yeah I got this for my birthday. I was trying to get the Dumbo, Dumb, Demo bag, but they didn't have it anymore. So I got the Graceful MM. Yeah. Um, I actually want to get a strap. Um, the Bendelera strap that I can put on the side of this and I can actually crossbody this bag on me. That'd be dope. And it comes with this little um, tag right here. So yeah, I bought this for myself for my birthday from Louis Vuitton. I got this on the website. Uh, haven't worn it yet. Haven't worn it yet, but I will. I don't know. I feel like this um, pattern is more suitable for the winter time. That's just me. Maybe that's because I'm justifying because I bought this bag, but whatever. Then I have this one right here. This is my Gucci bag. My one and only Gucci bag. I don't have. I don't know. This bag, when I saw it, I just had had to have it. And I saved um, for at least the whole year to get this bag. It comes with a strap. is everything just everything it comes with a strap it comes with a cloth strap the little things are like right here and it has a bamboo handle um damn i don't know what i did with the uh, no the other strap is in my um it's up in my closet so this is the um strap to it I wasn't planning I was planning on wearing this but then Gucci decided to show their ass so I decided I was gonna wait like a couple months to actually wear this bag again but I love this purse the inside of it is like cloth 
some microfiber type of cloth I'm not sure but it has like this um, zippy thing in the center then you get this and then that in the back it kind of reminds me of my Chloe Faye bag I got this bag from Neiman's and um, yeah I saved up for a year for this this was three thousand and nine hundred and twenty 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 two dollars yes and by looking at it you would not know if it you wouldn't unless you know this bag know that it's Gucci bag you wouldn't know that it was Gucci it's all leather and it has Gucci embossed right here at the back um, I got it because it remind me of I went to an African school when I was a kid and it remind me of um, um, red is for the people black um, was it no black is for the people green is for the land and red is for the blood so it that's what it reminds me of I don't know what Gucci think or you know I guess it's their color scheme but it just remind me of that and I love these little um, the extra touch of this right here is so beautiful and I really didn't see a lot of people with this purse um so which made me gravitate to it even more so and I felt like it was a classic bag and I did buy the um, Gucci shoes that would go nicely with this and I have some Jordans that's in this color scheme too so I can wear it with pretty much anything if I want to be a little bit more ladylike or a little hood okay so I absolutely love this I think oh, I can't think of somebody else that have it but I knew I have seen like at least four people that have had this bag so um I love this purse just um, I don't plan on wearing it at this Mehmet. So let me get some more bags. So this is the la almost the last of my bags. So this bag right here is the Speedy 35 and Demir Azur. Um, just like um, the other bag I got, I got that from Louis Vuitton ancients ago. This is the first um, foray or this is this is the first tempting of um designer that i started with myself um i worked i worked like a demon <laughs> to get this bag um but this bag was 747 yes 747 um as you could tell like i didn't have this bag for more than 10 years now probably like 10 years or eight years and it's not really really patinaed a lot um again i normally wear this bag in the summertime just a bit cold i just got that um organizer you can put inside of here and i just see this more as a summer purse so when i got this bag i um um i wore it like during the summertime you can see the Back. Yep, and I have all my um um receipts and everything to this to to my bags. Very, I try to be organized. So times it goes away sometimes. So I bought this bag this year, last year. Last year I bought this bag. Um, this bag is the MCM um, hobo it has embossed MCM in leather it's all leather and it's um, embossed MCM all over the bag it has a pocket right here I have not worn this bag yet it's still filled with you know paper whatever it has like the side you know normal pocket zippy in the back and it's really big um, it comes you can see this blue and then you turn it and it's um, gray on one end and blue on the other and then you get like this little zippy thing that's blue um, I paid seven seven sixty five for it so I paid eight eight something for it um, I got this before I went to Paris I was obsessing about this bag so much 
and I just bit the bullet and, and got it. Oh, and I got it inside of Nordstrom's at um, Somerset Mall in Michigan. They come in a lot of colors too. There's pink, blue, and some other different colors, I think. I'm not the person that put their bags on the floor. I just, I can't do it. Um, and then I have this one right here. This is my delightful MM. Um, this is, this is my baby. I love this bag. Try to get it all together. Love this bag, still love this bag. It has like this little thing clip that keep this um, in front of it. Um, again, one big little hole. I think this is so um, great. Like, mother's on the go. You know, and it comes with this tab right here. This is the older version of the Delightful. And he had like Louis Vuitton right here is um, embossed like right into the um, strap right here. Um, they don't, they didn't do it with the other one that they came out with and now um, I think they discontinued the delightful again cuz I think that cuz they made the um what is that the graceful they made the graceful and so they discontinued the um the delightful series okay this is how big this is right here massive okay so this one I can think I got like two years ago. And this is the Delightful GM. Um, I wanted this bag so bad. I got this bag off Amazon. I think I paid nine something for it, nine fifty or nine sixty for it. Again, it's one massive bag. Um, it's it's only like slightly bigger than the MM, but I just love this bag for so long. I originally wanted this bag and planned on getting it and because I did see someone else who had this bag I was like I need this bag I need it I need it I need it and they discontinued this purse so um pre-loved it was going for quite a penny so it has these zippies in the front which is actual um you can actually put things into it um I finally found somebody that was selling it. Um, it's a little, like the top part is, it's a little worse for wear, but I think I can take this to get fixed. I'm not sure, but I really don't want to because I feel like it brings more of, I don't know, it, it feels more worn and, you know, just nice. Again, this is when, this is the um, the emboss of the Louis Vuitton on the handle. I actually did take this to Louis Vuitton to get authenticated in this. And he said, as soon as he looked at it, he said, yeah, this is ours. And, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love this bag. I'm happy that I actually um, found it. I found it on, Fashion File had one, but, um this i think it was still too much so i went ahead and got it through ebay uh, so this is another one of my bags this is this another speedy 35 and again i only paid 470 no four four was a four it was 747 for it yeah I don't want to go all through this, but it's the same thing. But I got this one hot stamp with my initials right here. I don't know if they still do the hot stamping on the bag anymore. But yeah, I got that from Louis Vuitton. Again, my handles aren't too crazy. But, you know, like they said, they can always check, you know, check, you know, fix, not fix, but pay to get new handles. So, yeah. Um happy that I actually took the leap and got these because that the price of these right now whoa whoa y'all crazy that's I think it's like a thousand 
I think it's $1,040. I'm not really sure. I keep saying $40, but I think the M, the the Graceful is $1,040. I, I can't really be sure, but... Okay, this is the last one. And this right here is the delightful um, GM that I got from Paris. I got this in Paris, and I don't think this was $1,000. I think it was uh, I don't know I, I can't really t I can't tell you what I paid for it I know it was less than what it is here in America um, but I got this and I also got the, the coin purse and I do have a wallet to go with this too the the Clements the Clements wallet um, anywho this one has the pink interior in it which I love and you got the little thing the magnet in the front and I can use uh, my strap on this and the crossbody and I do plan on wearing this in the summer because I do call I do feel like this is a summer summer bag so pretty I absolutely love I love the canvas um, series I don't care if it's the Demir being the Demir resort or the monogram I just love them so so much but I can um, put the strap on these and crossbody it really love love okay I have one more purse and that will be the end we're at the last bag and it is my Chanel Maxi that I got in Paris at the Rue Cambon um, in Paris. I love this bag. I also saw the I saw this bag in the lambskin but I really really wanted the um, Wanted in the caviar because I've heard it's more durable. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What was interesting is that um, I got the I have the bag, the box, and the um, the um, dust bag, and you know authentication card or whatever that came with it, and what else? Oh, and it has um, like a like a little card inside of the box with a stamp that says that it came from um, Rue Cambon. Um, I got to take pictures on the steps. I was so so happy and so amazed by the um, the experience of it all. I feel like when I went to Paris, um, the shopping experience was so different there than it is here. They were so attentive. They were um, right there um, helping. They gave me champagne. I was so drunk. It was so amazing. I was so drunk. Um, I got champagne. My mom had um, um, cappuccino. They had the, these um, the um, the flowers. I can't think of the, um, the flowers all over it, all over the um, the thing. And you you can look on my trip video and uh, my pictures from um, Instagram. But it was so beautiful, and, and even Louis Vuitton. It was like, oh, what can I help you with? Do you need anything? Oh, I'm like, oh, I want some chip. I went from Chanel to Louis Vuitton, so I was really toasted. Okay. Um. So yeah, I got this beautiful bag which is my coco i call her coco and you get the burgundy and in the inner part and then i stuffed it with these like these little um airbags and then you get this little cubby part in the front and i think i have my yep i have my lips my lip balm that i got from chanel yeah i am like <laughs> Like I went all in with the accessories. Okay. I got the um card holder, the zippy card holder, and the actual wallet that looks just like this purse. Um I got the the coin purse I got with um when I got my vet back from this bag. Um this bag I left 
and I think November so the the price increase already happened so this bag is I think seven thousand with tax here seven thousand and something dollars for this bag I got it for six thousand and something or six thousand two hundred or something like that and I got eight hundred dollars back from my vet from this bag and I got the zippy coin purse wallet um, coin purse and then I also bought the wallet which was a thousand uh, thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars I got the wallet in sacks but I linked my card with sacks so I was able to get um, a couple of I think like a hundred or two hundred and something dollars back from the purchase of my wallet in store so yeah, I got this. I absolutely love this bag. I, I want to feel bad about how much I spent on this bag, but I really saved up for at least two years to go to Paris and put all my money um, aside. And I also paid my bills, okay? I paid my bills before I even went and as I was saving. So I, I can't feel bad about it. I, every time I look at this bag, I smile. I do that with all my purses. I smile. I think they're amazing. I think this bag is gorgeous. It's timeless. I'm literally obsessed with Chanel at this point. But it's still, it's, I still love Louis Vuitton too. So I think Louis Vuitton is a little bit reasonable, but um, it's still not reasonable. You know what I mean? So, like, you don't have to get things like this. You know, you don't have, if you can't afford it, save. If you just, just not your tough cup of tea you could always get um bags that look close to it or even replicas because i've been watching a lot of um, um bougie on a budget videos so you don't have to get it nobody is nobody's trying to beat you up upside the head to get it you don't have to get it but i wanted it and i got it at at the home of chanel i call it that the home of chanel and i feel like i really invested in this bag you know uh, by it being in Paris this is uh, from Paris and um, the experience I had with my mother while we were there I think it was it was great even though my trip did lead lend or end with something um, a family member that passed I, I still she my, my aunt that passed away she she really wanted me to go you know and I don't want to start crying I have one last bag and this, this is the bag that I have on right now and this is from coach um, this I didn't get it from the coach outlet this is a birthday gift my mom gave me no Christmas gift I think this was a Christmas gift but it's just like um, the oatmeal color one it is um, a different leather than this right here is smooth and then it has um, suede on the side it's heavy as hell right now because I got a lot of stuff in it like that but it hooks to um to zip it over but i'm gonna take it out here you go so everything that's in it including my pad so this is um the last bag and the hardware of this bag is also black i will not buy another black bag after this uh, my Chanel bag my Rebecca Minkoff bag and then I have another coach bag and this one is be like four black bags I'm over it so I need a I need color in my life so yeah this is it I absolutely love this purse so that is the last of my purses so bye till next time and thank you for watching